everybody, welcome back to the 216 Podcast. This is our sixth episode, and today we will be talking about the Cowboys versus the Browns, Deshaun versus Dak, Miles versus Micah, all the matchups that happen in this Browns versus Cowboys game. So let's get started with a little injury report here. At wide receiver, CeeDee Lamb is listed out, but he has said on multiple occasions that he will be ready by Sunday to play. Brandon Cooks is listed questionable, so that's one to look out for. Because when it comes to wide receivers, the Cowboys are really slim, which we'll get to a little bit later. Left tackle Tyler Guyton is listed questionable as well. Both linebackers, Demond Clark and Eric Kendricks, are listed questionable. Ron Bland, who set the NFL's pick six record last year, is listed on IR. He's going to be out for six to eight weeks. Moving on to the Browns, Nick Chubb, obviously, he is not going to be playing this first week. Maybe even not be playing week two as well. We'll see how long it takes him to recover going into the season. David Bell is questionable as well. Another David, David Njoku, is listed questionable. Left tackle and left guard, James Hudson and Michael Dunn are both out and questionable. Michael Dunn's out. James Hudson's questionable. Going to defense, going to linebacker, Jordan Hicks is questionable. And Dustin Hopkins, the kicker, is also questionable. He's most likely going to play, but anything could happen, really. All right, those are a bunch of players who are injured, but now I want to talk about players who aren't injured, but they're not playing with the Cowboys anymore. Players like Michael Gallup, who had just retired, just announced his retirement this offseason, and Tony Pollard, who just got traded to the Tennessee Titans. Those are two huge losses for the Cowboys. Those are main players. Like I said, the wide receiver room for the Cowboys is very slim, with only Brandon Cooks and C.D. Lamb are the only notable wide receivers there. At running back, they have Ezekiel Elliott and Dalvin Cook, but both of them are definitely not in their prime anymore. Ezekiel Elliott came back from the Patriots after having a little stint, a one-year stint, but both of them are most definitely not at the peak of their career, and both of them are pretty washed. So if you compare that offense to the to our defense, we definitely have the advantage there. We have one of the best cornerback rooms in the entire NFL. And Denzel Ward, MJ Emerson, and Greg Newsom, those are three studs right there. I would assume Denzel Ward would be guarding CeeDee Lamb. I bet you MJ Emerson will get some reps there. MJ Emerson will probably be guarding Brandon Cooks with Greg Newsom getting some reps there. So, so I wouldn't worry too much about the fatigue of them because... We're going to be switching around a lot. I would not be surprised if all three of them got a shot at guarding C.E. Lamb and all three of them had a shot at guarding Brandon Cooks. I'm really excited to watch that wide receiver corner max up there. And then obviously our D line is stacked with Zadarius Smith, Miles Garrett, and then our linebacker room with J.O.K. who just came off his Pro Bowl season. All of them are great at stopping the run, which, as, they, as I said, the Cowboys don't have a great run game in the first place. Now we have to compare the Browns' offense to the Cowboys' defense. So Deshaun Watson did not get any reps in preseason. No, nothing's really different this offseason. Usually how it goes, we get videos of him in the weight room. We get excited. We see videos of him at training camp performing well. We see the coaches talking about him like he's Patrick Mahomes, like he's Tom Brady, like he's the absolute GOAT. And then he comes out and stinks up the field. So we already have three out of those four done. I'm hoping that we don't complete that full cycle. But who knows what we're going to see. It's definitely going to help that Deron Bland is injured. But there's still Trayvon Diggs out there. He's going to be guarding Amari Cooper, I would assume. I'm excited to see how Jerry Judy performs. As long as you have Michael Parsons sitting at your defensive end, you're always going to be in contention for one of the best defenses in the NFL. I'm excited to see how Deshaun Watson performs against them. I'm excited to see a lot of matchups in this game. Make sure you tune into this game. This is going to be Tom Brady's first game ever commentating. This is going to be an exciting game for so many reasons. My final score prediction is 14-7 us. I really think we can pull out with this win. The Cowboys are looking pretty shaky in my opinion. Cross our fingers. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the 216 Podcast. I'll see you next time.